Hi there, folks! The latest episode of Football News is with you, and we are gonna get started right away. Let's get the show on the pitch! Despite the players' desire to stay on loan, Tottenham are yet to make a decision on Timo Werner's future. Arsenal legend Mesut Ozil has shocked his fans with a new video from the gym. The former midfielder has turned himself into a real powerhouse. The German Football Association have announced that they will be ending a partnership with Adidas, which has supplied kits to German and West German national teams since 1954, starting in 2027. Nike will become their new uniform sponsor instead. Real Madrid will bring back Miguel Gutierrez from Girona in the upcoming summer, despite the transfer of Alfonso Davies. I think Real decided that they were never gonna miss another talent like Vini or Andrik after Neymar moved to Barcelona. Maybe there is a lesson for Chelsea because they were in front at the start, Andrik's agent Frederico Pena noted. Zidane is one of the icons of French football. We owe him gratitude for everything he has done for the French. But we have the most successful French coach who will work until 2026. Everything has already been discussed and decided, Felipe Diallo, the president of the French Football Federation, stated. Arsenal will attempt to acquire Andre Lunning from Real Madrid in case the Ukrainian shot-stopper decides not to extend his contract with the club from Madrid. If Eric Ten Hag gets sacked by Manchester United, the Dutchman could move to Germany, where Bayern Munich, Bayer Leverkusen, and Stuttgart are keen on hiring him. The former president of Angers, a club that represented Liga 1 throughout many seasons, Saeed Chabanet, has been sentenced to two years in prison for sexual assault. Newcastle United have renewed their interest in RB Leipzig striker Benjamin Sheshko, who has backed 11 goals in 34 appearances this season. 17-year-old striker Ethan Nwaneri, who holds the record for being the youngest player in the history of the Premier League, will soon pen his first professional contract with Arsenal. Chavez Simmons, another gem doing wonderful things on loan. He is a top talent. Chavi has perfect skills for our idea and style, so it could be a great option for a PSG. His future will depend on the club's decision, of course. Luis Enrique shared his opinion on the player. Bayern Munich will open talks regarding a new contract with goalkeeper Alexander Nubel, who is currently on loan at Stuttgart. Man United links? They have a manager, and it would be extremely disrespectful to talk about that. I'm the England manager. I've got one job to try and deliver a European championship. I have nothing to say. Guard Southgate stated. Brighton and Hove Albion may extend and Sufati's loan for one more season. The Derby believes that the Barcelona Academy graduate has what it takes to become a key player for the team next season. Royal Madrid have decided not to trigger a 10 million euros by option clause for young striker Iker Bravo, who is playing for the club on loan from Bayer Leverkusen. It's always been my dream to play here. I've always followed the Premier League. It was always my dream to be here. I think, ever since I joined Newcastle, everything has been good in my life, professionally and personally," Bruno Guimaraes told. The Japanese tax authorities accuse Andres Iniesta of failing to pay $3.7 million in taxes during his time playing for Wiesel Kabe. Manuel Neuer will be Germany's starting goalkeeper at the Euros. Here is what Nagelsmann recently said in the matter. We have made the decision. Unfortunately, Manu got injured, but it's just a strain, and he will only be out for 10 days, so I won't be changing my decision. Atletico Madrid will try to compete for sporting star Victor Goiqueras, who is valued at 100 million euros. Xavi has invited Ronaldinho's son, João Mendes, to train with the Barcelona first team during the international break. Netflix has contacted the Premier League's best strikers to make a documentary series on the art of scoring goals. Erling Haaland has already rejected the invitation. Sir Dave Brailsford, who worked with Guard Southgate in the Ineos Leaders in Sport program, is backing the England coach as a replacement for Eric Den Haag. Mike Mignon has rejected AC Milan's offer for a new contract. The club offered him 4.5 million euros per year, while the player was asking for 6 million euros. The goalkeeper may leave AC Milan this summer. I always wanted to play at the Olympics and my desire has not changed. If I play the Olympics, then it will be a dream. But if I'm not allowed to, then I will do as I'm told. The decision is still up to one person and they haven't told me yes or no. Kylian Mbappe noted. 
Borussia Dortmund are willing to sell 19-year-old striker Yusufa Mokoko this summer if a suitable offer arrives. England star Harry Kane will be out for the friendly against Brazil and is also at risk of not being involved in the game against Belgium. Arsenal are keen on selling Thomas Partey this summer and Real Sociedad are interested in making a move for him. Hetafe no longer have any hope of loaning Mason Greenwood again. Manchester United are solely focused on selling the striker. Real Madrid midfielder Brahim Diaz has made his debut for Morocco in a friendly against Angola. This summer, Olivier Giroud will join Hugo Lloris at Los Angeles FC. He will sign a contract until 2026. Manchester United are planning to recruit Wolverhampton Wanderer central midfielder Joao Gomez in case Casemiro leaves the club. Barcelona wonder kid Pau Cubarsi has made his debut for the national team of Spain. He came on as a substitute in the 83rd minute of a friendly match against Colombia 0-1. Moving to the main news of the release. Real Madrid have found a new priority candidate for the right-back position, who is supposed to become a long-term replacement for Dani Carvajal. The La Liga table leaders were interested in Rhys James, but they abandoned this idea due to his frequent injuries. From now on, Real Madrid are intending to acquire one of Liverpool's leaders, Trent Alexander-Arnold. The thing is that Trent's contract with his boyhood club expires in the summer of 2025, and the Marengues believe they are able to convince Liverpool to sell the player so that he will not leave as a free agent. Real Madrid also highly value Alexander-Arnold's versatility. At this moment, Trent is not in talks with Liverpool regarding a contract extension. Bayern Munich centre-back Diopa Meccano is planning to leave Bayern in the upcoming summer. The Frenchman is unhappy with the amount of playing minutes he gets, as well as the amount of criticism he receives from fans and pundits. Upamecano has long dreamed of joining the English Premier League, and a bunch of clubs from England, whose names are not disclosed by the source, are already showing interest in the performer. This season, Dayo has made 26 appearances in all competitions and scored one goal. Four top English clubs at once are looking to sign Brazilian striker Rodrigo from Real Madrid. These are Liverpool, Manchester United, Arsenal and Manchester City. They all assume that with Kylian Mbappe's arrival at Real Madrid, Rodrigo will get much less playing minutes and thus are planning to take advantage of the situation. However, Real Madrid have no plans to sell the player. The Spanish Goliaths are open to the idea of his transfer for no less than 100 million euros. Rodrigo himself is also not ready to quit Madrid, having just inked a brand new contract valid until the summer of 2028 in November. It has become known which club Xabi Alonso will lead in the summer if he decides to leave Bayer Leverkusen. Between Bayern and Liverpool, the Spanish coach is leaning towards choosing the super club from Munich. Xabi Alonso likes Germany and would like to stay in this country for a longer period of time. However, there is a possibility that Alonso will continue working at Leverkusen. Should Alonso reject Bayern's offer, the Bundesliga champions will switch to the option with Roberto de Zerbi. Antonio Conte and Jose Mourinho are not considered options for the club right now. Barcelona president Juan Laporte has answered questions about the possible appointment of Hansi Flick and once again admitted that there is a possibility of Xavi continuing to manage Barcelona. Did Pini Zahavi offer us Hansi Flick? Apart from great professionals, I'm a friend of Pini and Georgia Mendes. I've been saying, don't insist with me because we will be with Xavi until the end. We will wait for Xavi's decision and then we will see. Guys, be sure to check out the suggested videos from our other projects as well. The Football News Channel was with you. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.